My name is Azalea Hart and I am the Toronto face of the festival for 2016. The costume that I'm wearing is for Island Vibes. They're, this is their first time, their first band for Toronto Carnival. The section belongs to uh, Brigitte Abrams and Camille Sarkasun. And the section is called, if you want to take a guess, Paradise. So um, it's exactly that. So you wake up in the morning, you're on the beach, and you see a beautiful sunset, and it's just paradise. It's that feeling of uh, the tropics and you know everything that makes you feel warm and happy on the inside. There is a little bit of an Indian uh, vibe going on with this costume. I mean, we have, it kind of looks like, uh, you know, like a bindi, what people would wear if they're wearing a sari. Um, and also these awesome chains that we have going on here, which you don't really see. So the bangles, all of that adds to that, a little bit of that Indo-Caribbean. Being the face of the festival means so much to me just because this was something that I have been doing for such a long time. And I was doing it without wanting or needing recognition. I still don't, but it's just because it's something that I love so much and because it's a passion of mine that it's become something where I think that, hey, I am actually the face of carnival. Like, I dedicate my life to chasing carnivals. There is a lot of us out there, carnival chasers, and it's something that brings that type of joy to our life that you can't just get by just saving money. You know, because a lot of people say, but where do you get the money to do it? Honestly, just find the money and then you go and do it. You make memories and those are things that are going to last. I think that's something that people need to realize is, is how Carnival started. And it was a celebration of freedom for slaves in Trinidad. And that's, you know, and at the same time, as everything does, it has evolved. So not only now has it evolved into something that looks like this rather than a sailor dress or you know a full costume of a flower I mean it's turned into two pieces two piece bikinis with beads and feathers being you know what symbolizes carnival to um, something like this now the monokini has become extremely popular this year and um, it's all about just evolution of mass so thinking Thinking about the origin of Carnival is something that people need to keep in the back of their minds. It's something that I'm aware of. But when I'm on the road, it's not something that I'm thinking about. I'm just thinking about the freedom that I feel at the time. I went to school for broadcast journalism at Seneca York, um, the school of media, they call it. And since then, I started my vlog for YouTube. It's uh, called Carnivlog with Azalea Hart. It's a YouTube channel, and I just focus solely on carnivals. The reason it began was uh, one of my professors was on the same flight with me as I was going to Trinidad Carnival, but she was just stopping off and going to Grenada, and she asked, where are you going? And so I told her and explained it to her, and she's like, that, uh, that's something that she would love to see. So she asked me to bring a camera with me the next time I go to one, which I did, and that was for Cayman Islands. And she loved it. And she said, you need to document these carnivals and put it on YouTube for people to watch. And that's how I started. And since then, I've been doing freelance reporting for Caribbean channels. And I currently now co-host a separate YouTube channel other than my own. I did freelance reporting for Caribbean Headline News that aired on Rogers TV. And that the last... Thing I did for them was about a year ago and that was for um, the Caribbean Film Festival that came to Toronto which was absolutely amazing. We worked very well together. It was great to uh, get my name out there a little bit more, have some more uh, freelance reporting um, experience. So it was it was great. Right on your side, look.